10 milligram, zero increment. Let's just develop the night. Okay, so they're coming thick and fast. Attacking the pawn. Do we just push here or do we just ignore it altogether? Open up the bishop. Yeah, let's open up the dark square bishop. Don't mind blocking in the um, white square bishop. Let's attack. Put a check on the king. Let's take this bishop off the board. Let's take this pawn off. And castle. So everything that has needed to be done in the early part of the game has been done. Now we have to get our pieces out. So I'm going to develop the knight. This bishop's in a funny position really because, you know, it can sit here to manage here, but it is kind of blocking the queen. Don't like the fianchetto, but it might be a situation Well, he's moved his queen off of the line. He's probably looking to go for the battery, something like that with his bishop. So something to think about. I might as well just attack his knight in the meantime, give them something to think about. He could always still go there with the bishop anyway, but we'll just take the knight off the board to give them something to think about. No, he doesn't care because he's got his queen and he's got the knight coming here, so we may as well just block that off. So they're going for the quick and dirty tactics type thing, which we all know now, we should do now. Those types of things, if you're caught short, then yes, they'll win. But if you're not and you're aware, then have a look at the position of the opponent's pieces from this point on. We'll take the knight. Could have taken the knight when it just jumped there, but I'm just trying to reiterate this point about going for the quick and dirty tactics. Sometimes does leave you in a precarious kind of position. So this opens up the white square bishop to potentially come for a quick and dirty type thing here. So we could still continue doing that. So we get another a higher piece off the ball. Before we go jump in there, is there anything else? I mean, there is elements of moving the queen here to try and get it to there, but this pawn will inevitably drop and then the rook will be defending that area. So I'm just gonna simply take the rook off the board. And the opponent's resigned. So that was a, a typical kind of case of going for those quick and dirty tactics without really looking at are your pieces safe to actually get involved in that quick and dirty tactic. 